what is bundle based pricing at the amazon will provide you a combo offer pricing benefits the business so we're going to choose the bundle based adjustment so now you're going to see what is bundle based pricing and how the bundle based uh, discount will apply and how we can do the setup in the salesforce pricing so to talk about what is bundle based pricing so if you are going to buy a laptop from the amazon then you can see uh if you purchase a laptop there will be different price and also at the amazon will provide you a combo offer so there you can purchase the laptop with the mouse and and suppose with additional year warranty extra warranty in a combined price so if you took these three products individually then the price will be a bit higher but if you took it together as a bundle then you will get a discount on each of the price you know this is called the bundle based pricing what the bundle based pricing benefits the business so there are a couple of points we can uh, discuss like the cost saving because as we have already mentioned like if you purchase is a product individually then it will be higher cost but if you get it as a bundle then it will be a bit lower cost so the cost saving is there next the increased sales volume so if you you know give two three products together in a lower rate then the customer will be interested in purchasing those products so this is a benefit for the business you know the average value for the order will be a bit higher if you know if you provide all of the as a bundle so these are couple of that you know if we use the bundle based pricing this is going to benefit the business okay so now we are going to create the bundle based adjustment and we will add that in the pricing procedure and we will see how you know these things work behind the scene and how we will do that to do that what we have to do we have to go to the price adjustment schedules okay we have already seen that the price adjustment schedule we will Go to all now. What we will going to choose here? We are going to choose the bundle based adjustment. So I am going to open the bundle based adjustment. Now we are going to add some adjustment here. So before that, if you can remember what we have to do, we have to inactivate these schedule first. So we have inactivated it. Okay. Now we will go to the tab bundle based adjustment. We will click on the new because we are going to you know create a new bundle based adjustment. So now what we are going to use here as the root bundle we are use laptop row bundle okay now what we'll do we'll see the root bundle selling model what we are doing we are setting one time perfect now what is the parent product the same is the parent product right laptop bundle laptop pro bundle okay and parent product selling model this is also one time what is the product name we are using the printer bundle as the product and what is the product selling model this is also in time product selling model okay so what we are going to achieve by doing this bundle based adjustment i am going through the scenario so we are offering the printer bundle at a lower price when it will purchase with the laptop row bundle okay and the price will be a lower side if we purchase it individually okay so this is the main goal here now what we are going to do we are going to you know set the adjustment type we are going to set as the percentage what is the adjustment value for now we are giving it at a 25 percent adjustment value effective from date we are selecting today's date price adjustment schedule we are choosing standard bundle based adjustment schedule okay currency it is canadian dollar okay so we are good to go clicking on the save now we have the adjustment created here if now go to the bundle based adjustment and hit the refresh button then we can see the printer bundle these record is added here now what we have to do we have to go to the now decision table so here we will write decision table so it is opening decision table okay now what we are going to search here we are going to search bundle based adjustment trees because this decision table we are going to use in the pricing procedure so 
here we have to click on the refresh button we have to take a couple of minutes here to see the refresh one it's still 12 11 so again okay so we are good to go here at 14 11 2025 now we have to see here what are the input fields here we have nine input fields when we are going to use these decision tables and what are we getting as the output we are getting the adjustment type and the adjustment value same for the other you know adjustment entries now just let me check the lookup tables as well so clicking on the lookup tables i'm changing to all decision matrix now the bundle based adjustment entries now we are looking for that particular entry that we have created so it's 25 now what we have to do we have to now add the price element that is the bundle based price element to the pricing procedure that we have created so for now we have to go to the pricing procedure okay and there this is our pricing procedure now we'll click on the v1 so here we have the pricing procedure now we are clicking on the pricing procedure v1 that we have created okay here we have if you can remember for you know the attribute based price we have to create a constant so again we are again going to create the constant so for that what i am going to do i'm going to the price adjustment schedule okay this is already open i need to copy the id okay because i am going to make a constant here so this is the constant this is you know we have to put the resource name here so i have already have the resource name this is a text we have the value okay so here we have added the constant here now what do we have to do we have to click here and we have to click on the bundle based price now for the lookup table if you can remember what was the lookup table it's the i think bundle based adjustment okay now we have to put all the input rule variables you can remember we have nine input rule variables okay so we'll put one by one now here we have to put the bundle based adjustment id it's text local okay product selling model we will use the product selling model okay effective from we will use the effective from effective to here again use the from here product using the product fine now we have the parent product we have the main item product now we have the parent product selling model so root bundle we have root item product root bundle selling model we have so product selling model fine next we have the input variable section so inclusive price we have to use the inclusive price okay for the quantity we will use the again the same one line item quantity and for the input unit price we are using net unit price yo so we are good to go with the bundle based price adjustment so i have forget one thing so before you have to save these you have to first deactivate the first one okay or else you can always create a new pricing procedure version but i am creating i am adding it in the same procedure version i am not creating a new version for this so here we have these now one more thing we have to include in output checkbox we have made it true then we have saved it so it's saved now we are clicking on the activate button so it's already activated okay now what we are going to do we'll just you know to the pricing i'll go to the pricing setup i will just sync the pricing fine now put 